is making a comeback. If you blink these days, you miss another meltdown on the left. Progressives are seething with frustration and lashing out at whatever poor soul gets in their way. Exhibit A, Tesla billionaire Elon Musk, who got himself a solid whooping from the left this week. But the broader issues at play here expose the hypocrisy of the left, especially the ones who inhabit Tinseltown. As CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, Musk is undoubtedly an original thinker. While he lists himself as a political independent, his actions tell a more conservative tale. So when he tweeted out a simple message, quote, take the red pill, and Ivanka Trump answered, taken, Hollywood went postal. Lily Wachowski, a producer of the red pill movie, The Matrix, did not wait too long before tweeting out a thoughtful and gracious reply, quote, F both of you, unquote. Ah, yes, the little red pill has increasingly become a prickly problem for Hollywood devotees who bleed democratic blue. The plot in the 1999 sci-fi flick The Matrix presents the lead character with a choice to take a red or a blue pill. The blue pill allows the protagonist to look at life through a beautiful prison. It would lead him back to ignorance, living in confined comfort without want or fear within the simulated reality of The Matrix. However, if he chooses the red pill, a much more challenging journey lies before him because it will mean an uncertain future that would free him from the enslaving control of the machine-generated dream world. In other words, do you want to live in bondage in a false reality or take your chances with freedom in the real world? Much to the chagrin of the Matrix Hollywood producers, the red pill fits perfectly into a conservative worldview. And the right has latched onto this with the increasing frequency. Candace Owens and Kanye West are two that have stolen the red pill from the left. This makes Musk, West, and Owens public enemies. They're lumped in with white supremacists, particularly amusing in the case of Owens. Civil discourse is exiled, and in its place are insults designed to discredit and disparage good people. The progressive left, who champion themselves as open-minded and gentle green people, demonstrate that lurking just beneath the surface are angry, name-calling bullies who brook no one bold enough to counter them. This is the hypocrisy of the left, that those who choose to live authentically should suffer a good beatdown and then be cast into a dystopian abyss. Soon the left will have its way as it seeks to control free speech in multiple ways over internet platforms that millions of people use. But one wonders if this tyranny of the left may produce more Americans who, like Musk, and in defiance of their leftist betters, choose the red pill. And that's my viewpoint for today. Truth is making a comeback.